Hello, my name is Matt, and my wife Tammy's uh, filming for us, and we're the owners of Adventure Canopies. And I want to take a minute and introduce you to our real shade. Um, uh, our, our real shade is designed um, as a can, <laughs> and this is our <laughs> this is our neighborhood friend. So uh, you might see him in and out of the pictures. Um, it's a cantilever design with no ropes or poles or strings. Um, or anything attached to the front to keep it open for fishing. Um, it's height adjustable here with the straps and also we've got um, three different points that are adjustable using our uh, our new channel rod that's exclusive to Adventure Canopies and it's uh, currently patent pending. So this is a height adjustment point. We have a height adjustment point here in the rear and then also towards the top we have another height adjustment point. So it's fully adjustable, fully universal. If you have any questions or if you have a kayak um, and you do get a shade and something doesn't look right, please give us a call. And we're happy to help and, and modify anything you need to uh, make this work on your kayak. Um, I, I, I want to go over an installation. And so give me a few minutes. I'm going to take this down and I'll show you how we do an install. Thank you. So we removed everything off the kayak and I set it here on the table and I want to show you um, what you're going to get when you order our real shade. So this is this is the cover itself folded up uh, You have one spreader bar and this is the subframe assembly You also get a universal height kit and a set of instructions and two sets of hubs I've got a couple tools set out um, drill Phillips has screwdriver a yardstick and a pair of scissors um, let, let me uh, walk over to the kayak and uh, and we'll start going over the installation of our hubs. On our instructions, when you install the, the forward hubs, they need to be installed one to three inches from measuring from the front side of your backrest. This backrest has some cushion on it, and so, so the, the paddler is going to push back on this and it's also going to collapse some. So just take that into account when you're when you're using your measurements. Um, with my yardstick, so I'm going to judge we're we're going to measure to the center of the hub. So so we're we're about an inch and three quarters here. Um, I say one to three inches because if you have a if you have a, a pedal watercraft, you can you can probably go. Um, one inch. If you have a kayak that you're going to be paddling, there's a set of ropes here that's going to pull the top canopy down, and and you you may benefit better by going three inches back so your elbows clear that rope that's coming down. Okay. If you have an adjustable seat, then you can slide your seat forward if needed. Uh, you can also make some uh, height adjustments with our top height adjustment that you'll see later on the frame which will which will move that canopy either forward or, or backwards so let me go ahead and do this install um, I, I have a drill I recommend always using your drill to um, to to set a pilot hole and and guide your screws in place um, I've already uh, I've already had had I have already drilled this out it's so uh, I'm just going to take my forward hub which is identified by just the loop and I'll set it in place and screw it down there's no need to over tighten these hubs um, we supply you with a gasket and once you see that gasket collapse just a little bit uh, you should be good to go. Make sure that your cord goes through the weep hole on the inside. Okay. To install your rear hubs, to install your rear hubs, if you have a kayak that has a a, a low seat, like maybe a, a sit-in kayak, um, or a sit-on kayak that has a, a lower uh, well in it. Um, I, there, there's two different measurements. So the, the lower seat, you, you're going to want to measure back 27 inches from
from your forward hub okay and again we're taking our measurements from center hub to center hub so um, just take a, your, your measuring device tape rule yardstick and you're going to measure back 27 inches so here from center hub to center hub I'm sitting at 27 inches okay and this kayak has a track system um, I do have some some track mount hardware that we sell but there's so many different brands and um, d different track systems that are available uh, you, you can use wh whatever option you like um, I had my track kit hardware this track system is a little bit wider than the standard so I just picked up some um, larger washers and, and I slip it in and that works good for me. There's other stuff available so you can check that out and, and see how that works for you. So that's the basic install of this uh, of our hubs. Um, let me grab the subframe and I'll show you how to install that subframe. So our, our subframe has, has three different points where it's gonna where it's gonna easily snap in place. Um, everything is built with a shock cord inside, so there's no guessing on, on where anything goes. Uh, I'm going to tilt this up, and these two legs of the subframe will fall in place. Then I'll lift this up, and the upper portion falls in place. So when you go to install this, when you go to install this, the best thing to do is to get this cross connector and slide it all the way up. Take your other cross connector and slide it all the way up. And then the, there's a set of T's here in the middle. You want to make sure that those set of T's are flush with this ferrule. So you put them all the way forward. And once you open this up, it spreads open. Push the ball connector into the hub. Ensure that your T's stay flush with the straight ferrule. And you take the rear of the subframe and roll it forward and let those fall in place. These D rings are going to want to face to the inside of your, to, towards the inside of the kayak. Okay. And then you take this quick release, connect those, and then you can slide these down. And that starts to open up your frame. Okay. I have one spreader bar that connects in a T up here and over here. You put that in place and you can tighten this up. Okay. For the shade itself, simply unroll this. Grab the leading edge of the canopy, and when you do that, there's two bars here that'll fall in place. These bars are held in place with shock cord, so to collapse it, you need to pull down to allow that connector to come out of its connection point, and then roll it in to the pocket, then you can roll it up. Okay. To connect this, it's kind of high. You put it in the far side first into the open connector. And then over here, you take the pole and bring these together and connect it. Drape the canopy over the frame. Clip your quick release clips. There's one in the center, and there's a set in the back. Okay. Take your drawstrings, unclip this clip, and secure it to the subframe. Okay. On the back side, 
you have a stainless a, a stainless steel snap hook. This snap hook is going to want to go into the D-ring. And then you pull this tight. Don't be afraid to over tighten that. Get it good and tight. And you do the same thing on the other side. To release these, you may know that just some slight pressure, roll that forward, and it'll release. Okay? So that's our basic install. Uh, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make another video next and uh, just kind of cover some some uh, tricks and tips and and go over height adjustments. Thank you for taking the time and looking at our video and thank you for supporting our family business.